Welcome to Our Great House. My name is Lisa and if you're new here, I share DIYs and inspo for home, food, and travel all on a budget. I also have a cat that likes to join the videos. That's Captain. Sometimes Socks joins in, but mostly it's Captain. Anyways, I like to share DIYs and inspo for home, food, and travel all on a budget. So if you enjoy that too, I would appreciate it. I, was, I don't know what I was going to say next, but I would appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications and YouTube should let you know every time I upload a video. I am participating in a challenge video today, but first I want to show you my first craft. DIY number one. The first project is inspired by Kelly Barlow Creations and she did what I'm calling seasonal wood blocks and she put the season on each side of the blocks. Autumn, spring, autumn, winter, spring, summer. So I made this much harder on myself. I could have cut out all these squares of paper at one time because I was going to be sanding down the edges anyway and so it didn't need to be exact. So yeah, I just made myself a little bit of extra work but it's okay because in the end it turns out pretty cute. I do use Mod Podge. I adhere, I put that onto the wood cube and then I adhere the pieces of paper that I'm using. So I'm just alternating three little designs of paper and probably got these at Hobby Lobby. Anyways, I go at the end after they're dried, I kind of sand off all around the edges to get off that excess paper. Next step is I used my Cricut to cut out the word, the letters, well, the words, summer, autumn, spring, and winter. And so I just put the letters on. I mean, you see me putting the letters on. So what you could do is if you're using a bigger block, which Kelly Barlow Creations did, you can use the Dollar Tree stickers. If you're using a smaller block like me, you can use, there are other stickers at the Dollar Tree that are smaller. It just depends on the size cube that you're using or you could just hand letter them on. Now I'm gonna glue those together into a tower, if you will. And I did go in and distress with some distressing ink just around the edges because I wanted to give it a little bit more, well, I wanted to look like Kelly's. So yeah, that's what I did. Now I'm just hot gluing these together and I will tell you, these wood cubes that I used are just ones that we had in the garage. I had Marvin cut them down. They're not all square. And you'll kind of notice that they're not all square, but it's okay. It looks cute. So this is the summer one. As you can see, that top S is kind of leaning like the Tower of Pisa, but I, I still think it looks cute. Although I have to keep in mind like the pattern behind the letter so you can see it better. This of course is autumn. I love those autumn colors. And then I have winter and you can see where it's kind of leaning again, the opposite direction. Some of the letters are a little hard to see, so I might have to go fix that. But this is spring. I think this turned out the clearest and I just love how it looks. This video is this part of the project Try it is Tuesday one challenge that is inspired by it's hosted with by Unicorn it's Design. Simple, it's cute. And this month it is co-hosted by Christy so Create. A link to both of their channels will be in the description box below, as well as a link to the entire playlist so you can see what everybody else created. I'm sure it's going to be a lot of fun, but let's get into DIY number two. This is inspired by Crafting with Maria, and I'll of course have her link in the description box below, but it's this cute little home sign that I thought I could recreate. I did take a Dollar Tree wooden house. It used to have these flowers on it. Takes a little bit to get the flowers off, but I did. And then I'm painting both sides of the house because I'm actually gonna be creating a double-sided sign. And I used my Cricut to cut out the word home to match the Crafting with Maria inspiration project. And I put that down and then on the back, I'm going to put the words, love you more. I'm taking this leaf garland situation and trying to create a circle very similar to Maria's. 
Now my, my circle leaf stuff doesn't look as cute as hers, but that's okay. So I'm gonna glue that down towards the top and kind of marking where I'm gonna put it, putting some hot glue down and then adhering that down. Now I'm gonna make a ribbon out of some Buffalo check print ribbon and I'm also gonna take some twine and put it around the middle. I think I saw that in Maria's as well and I thought it looked cute. Now on the reverse, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a heart at the top there. I think the heart's a little too big. I might go back and change that, I don't know. But this is how it turned out. I thought it turned out super cute. I think it looks very similar to hers and I just love it. And here's how the Love You More sign turned out. Again, I like it, but I'm just not sure about the heart, so I may go back in and change that up. DIY number three. This inspo comes from The Crafty Couple. Y'all, <laughs> I just love how theirs look, and I thought, I've got to make that. I got this wood round from Lowe's. It was like 922, I think it says. And then I took three metal paper towel holders from the Dollar Tree and uh, that's really all you need. Besides, I'm gonna be staining this with the Waverly Wax in Antique. And yeah, get, I, I still haven't quite got the staining thing down yet, but I'm trying. In order to prep the legs, I used some sandpaper to kind of roughen it up and take some of the shine off of the legs. Then I just took it outside. I spray painted it with Rust-Oleum's Ultramat paint in the color charcoal. I think it's Rust-Oleum's chalked paint, but it's like spray paint. And so we had to bend them just a little bit. We kind of over bent them, but then I, I, I fixed that a little bit later. So jumping into, so jumping into okay, we're, we're out, we're outlining, Marvin's outlining where we're gonna put the E6000. I decided to do that instead of hot glue. I think it might just hold better, although we're not really going to be putting anything super heavy on the um, plant stand. But anyway, and we're also watching um, Schitt's Creek. <laughs> Marvin is putting the glue on, and as you can see, he's just kind of like dabbing. He's not going real heavy-handed with it, but we are trying to get enough down so it'll stick. Y'all, here's how it turned out, and I think it turned out so great. It only cost me like 11 bucks to make this, and I did bend the legs back in a little bit, but I think it looks awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching my video today. I really do appreciate you joining me while I craft, and don't forget, the links to all the channels that I mentioned and the playlist is gonna be in the description box below, so I really do hope you go and check it out and tell them that Lisa from Our Gray House sent you. And if you wanna follow me on Instagram or here on YouTube, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.